Okay, so I guess we're going to have a battle. It's, it's, it's gonna be me who's gonna get the endorsement, you know? What do you gotta say? Uh, okay. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. I, I wish you very good luck with that. I need to prepare. I kind of do. Oh, you're gonna watch us too? Okay. So we have an audience. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. Anybody can do that. That's how, that's how anybody can win. And yet, some people can still be beaten. What are you trying to imply here? It's time for my legend to begin. Alright. Whatever you say about your legend. It's gonna be my legend that's gonna be, be that's gonna begin. I'm just gonna let you know right now. Okay, so. Uh, Hop has three Pokemon, so he's caught himself an extra team member now. Guess what? I've also caught myself two extra two numbers. So it is three on three for this battle. Uh, so, um, he starts off with Lulu. Lulu is a level six normal type with tackle and growl. So it has, it did, ha it did gain an extra move since the last time that we battled Hop. Uh, that's really all it's got going. And um, yeah. Uh, something to note about uh, using different moves for in battle is that there is a mechanic known as STAB, S-T-A-B, which stands for Same Type Attack Bonus. Um, so, same type, what Same Type Attack Bonus means is when you use a move that is the same type as your Pokemon, like for example, my Rookie D, Rudy the Rookie D, has Peck, and Rookie D is a flying type. Peck is also a flying type move, which means that Peck has is going to gain a, uh, I think it's, I think the number is 10% of a, of a bonus, uh, for, uh, its power, for its original power, for its base power. Um, and so there's some moves that are pretty powerful as we level up and get stronger in the game, and when you take advantage of those powerful moves, and you stab, and take advantage of stab, then it can really, really be powerful. Also, that was super lucky that I uh, two shot the Grookey with one, with that with that second hit being a crit. That was great. All right, so a lot of Pokemon are leveling up. Lulu learns Copycat. Not that it matters. I'm not going to be using Lulu. Uh, and um, yeah. Also, I was talking over uh, that his second Pokemon is Starter, uh, which is a main. Uh, and once again, his star, his star Pokemon is the Pokemon that, that, that we are stronger against. Um, so, if you have if you have a Sobble, he is going to have a Score Body level 8 prior to the Tackle Ground Ember. Um, his star Pokemon does gain an extra move. It's it's a main move, uh, you know, because it's, it's leveled up enough to so it can get its main move. Um, if you have a score bunny, he's got a Grookey, level 8 grass tip with scratch, growl, and not razor leaf, vine whip, or whatever grass move that every other starter move has had uh, up until this point. It says branch poke, which is a new move introduced in generation 8, I think. I don't know if it's if it's been introduced in Gen 6 or 7. I'm going to assume it's introduced in this game because I haven't played Gen 6 or 7. Uh, and then if you have a Grookey, he's got a, he's got a solid level 8 water type with pound, growl, and water gun. And then finally, his last Pokemon is Rookie D, level 5 flying step with Leer and Peck. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. What does that have to do with the battle? I mean, think about it. We both, we, we both, it's a learning experience. We both got stronger. And, um, 
That's all. I mean, you defeated that one trainer who complained to me that 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 hop that that you know you beat him. Thank you for giving us the endorsement. Oh, that, that's all we need is this a, a simple letter of endorsement. A, p a piece of paper that says this trainer is endorsed to take on the gym challenge. You both may be young still and, and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. You've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out, things like things like that that have nothing to do with real strength. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That has nothing to do that throwing your the way you throw your Pokeball to center your Pokemon or whatever has nothing to do with the battle itself. I'd like to see more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too. Against one another? I, 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 it has to be absolutely. Absolutely. Come on. We need spirit here. Whoa! What was that? A shooting star? And it just came in the it just came down from the sky? Wow, what are the odds? And conveniently, two of them came and f fell down, too. One for me, one for Hop. Wait, you know about this? Wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know? I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I, oh my goodness. I will be the greatest trainer uh, ever. I mean, saying, some, saying something that you wish for three times is very, is very simple, but to actually achieve it, maybe it's a whole nother story. Whoa, we're gonna do that to our Pokemon? Isn't that a little dangerous? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, this game does not have a day and night system. Of course, Let's go Pikachu and Eevee doesn't have a, a day and night system either. Uh, this game functions off of its own day and night system. Uh, so there will not be Pokemon exclusive to what time you're playing the game on. That is a weird... Jingle sounds indicate that we that our Pokemon have been healed up. Good morning to you, young challengers. Is it true that you met Pokemon that you didn't recognize? Well, there was this weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. I tried to fight it off, and then we passed out, and, uh... Oh, you worked on this overnight! Wait, so where did we stay? Like, where did we sleep at when we were... 
like staying the night at, at this at, at uh, Professor Magnolia's place. Like there was only one room in this whole place at, uh, at all. I mean, obviously somebody has to take over the couch, but where did the other person sleep? Alright, so, so this is a brand new mechanic introduced in Generation 8, uh, Dynamaxing your Pokémon. Uh, you cannot just Dynamax your Pokémon whenever you want. Um, it is, uh, you can only, there's, there's only certain places, like, yeah, very few amount of places where you can Dynamax your Pokémon. Uh, Mega Evolutions do not exist in this game at all. Uh, that's been taken away from Generation 6. Um, and I believe this mechanic replaces Mega Evolutions, where uh, when you Dynamax your Pokémon, it's just a more powerful version of your Pokémon, and it has like a like a powerful version of, of your move set. Uh, so that's cool. Um, but. Again, there's only very few places where you're al you're even allowed Dynamax a Pokemon. So if I just go the next time I fight a trainer, I cannot just I cannot just use uh, my Wishing Star to Dynamax my Pokemon. Also, with Dynamaxing your Pokemon, you can uh, the Dynamax form lasts for a few amount of turns. Okay, so Hop is going to teach you a mechanic that you probably have already figured out. Uh, if you you can actually whistle by yeah you can actually whistle by uh, pressing onto your control stick, and Pokemon will come to you. So it's kind of like using a trap or a sweet scent in uh, previous Pokemon games. And then any Pokemon that's uh, out that's, that you can see will come to you, or in this case, they're going to work with me. But more Pokemon will show up, so if you're trying to do like some sort of catch them all playthrough, then this can be helpful. It also helps with trying to find Pokemon that you're trying to find, which is pretty cool. Uh, other thing that you can do is you can kind of just sneak up on a Pokemon. Well, when you're walking grass, you kind of sneak up on a Pokemon. As you can see, like, uh, Gloria's, um, kneeling animation like this whenever I'm on the grass. I don't know why it's like this when, like, you're in the grass. Uh, but either way, it's a pretty neat little thing that you can do. One, when you're, well, it's an, another neat little way of catching those one. Uh, but, um, yeah, so now we have to kind of backtrack. And this is kind of just the only convenient way to backtrack over here to Wedgers. And um, as we know, there was a train station that we saw earlier, and we couldn't actually do anything about it when we were there earlier. Hi, yeah, sorry that I'm being too slow here. Like, I wish I could go a little faster, but this is like, you're kind of holding me up here. But yeah, um... How many did I catch? I caught a really special one. Okay, I've caught like all the Pokemon that I, that, that, that I saw. Well, I didn't catch every Pokemon that uh, that I can find, but I'm trying my best here. You gotta you gotta cut me some slack. Like, I'm sorry I'm not making as fast as I'm not making as fast progress as you are. Uh, but Hop is now going to give you a TM. This is a, it is uh, it stands for Technical Machine. You can you can teach a move to a Pokemon for free. Only some Pokemon can learn certain moves. Every Pokemon has their own separate move pool. Uh, so you have to know what Pokemon uh, to teach your TM the TMs to, 
Uh, back in Generations 1 through 4, uh, TMs were only used one time, so you had to strategic strategically uh, plan out what, what TMs you're going to teach to your Pokémon. Uh, this time around, TMs are unlimited use. So if I were to teach Swift right now to anybody, which, um, oops. Uh, let's give it to... Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, let's give it to Jason. Get rid of... To replace Tackle, because Tackle's really bad. And then, since TMs have unlimited use, we're also going to give it to Ricky D. And we are going to get rid of... Uh, probably Leer. So as you can see, like, normally, if this was Generation 1, 2, 3, or 4, then the moment I used Swift and taught it to Jason, uh, Swift would already be gone. But because they've changed that so that it's unlimited use, I don't have to worry about that. So what Swift does is that Swift, um, Swift is a normal type move that never misses, which is good, because a move that never misses is, well, there are move there are moves later on in the game that we're going to be encountering where Pokemon are going to be using moves that will lower our accuracy down, which means that our chance of increasing, uh, our, our chance of missing increases. Uh, but if we're hit by that, then because Swift does not have an accuracy check whatsoever, it will never miss. All right, and with that being said, uh, we're going to go inside that train station next time. So, that is going to be it for this episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Next time we're going to go to uh, that train station and uh, head out to a another brand new area. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.